Welcome back everybody and happy Halloween. I hope everyone is having a happy and safe Halloween. I know this year is a little bit different, so I hope everyone is doing okay. But today we're here continuing our series in the channel that we've been doing this month where we review horror movies. And today we're going to cap it off with Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Very excited to talk about this. For those who have seen it, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about it. But with that being said, let's get into the review. Now, The Shining was made by, the movie was made by Stanley Kubrick, but it's an adaptation of the Stephen King novel. Now, an interesting thing is that the movie is not that good of an adaptation of the book. It kind of does its own thing, and Stephen King himself doesn't really like uh, the adaptation. But the movie stands very good on its own, um, and it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I mean, it's one of my favorite movies of all time just in general. I think the thing about The Shining, for me, it's like the ultimate atmospheric film. And what I mean by that is, well, first of all, this movie came out in 1980, and and around this time, you know, there's there was a lot of slasher films coming out that was really popular. Uh, but this was like quite opposite, you know. Um, this was really focused on just the atmosphere and characters. You know, there's also horror movies out there that really focus on jump scares, and those are all fun and great, also in their own way. But just something about The Shining is so different, and I think because of how different it is, um, it ended up you know, being uh, one of the greatest horror movies ever. The thing about this movie is that the things that we're looking at, like what we're looking at on screen, the visuals, it's already so scary that they don't need to try to scare us every couple minutes by, you know, like a jump scare or anything like that. They don't need to do that because what we're watching is terrifying, right? And there's tension to it, like the blood in the hallway, the old lady, the twins in the hallways. And stuff like that is already scary, and that's why I really like this movie. It's like a visually scary movie, right? Um, I mean, especially for me, I don't know what I would say would be the scariest. I'm interested to see what you guys think. But for me, I don't know, there's something about those twins. Like, the idea of turning a corner and you see something at the other end of the hallway that isn't supposed to be there. You know, something scary like that. There's just something about that feeling that stuck with me, and it's really scary. There's this uneasy feeling throughout the film and in this hotel that they're at, which I think makes this movie what it is. The score of this movie is also really amazing. It adds so much to the scenes and adds so much to the fear factor of this movie. And I just love the score so much. I love the opening sequence with the da na na na. Hopefully I didn't just blow out your eardrum, sorry. But uh, yeah, it's an awesome, it's an awesome uh, score. But the uh, camera work is also pretty amazing in this movie. Right from the opening sequence with the mountains, um, with that, including with the music, it created such a beautiful, haunting opening sequence all the way until the end uh, where the movie was using a steady cam um, in the maze. All of that was great. And the movie was actually, I think, one of the very first movies that used the steady cam, and I thought they did such a great job with it. Another thing I really like about this movie is that it has so many layers and it leaves a lot of things open to interpretation, which I personally kind of love that stuff. I mean, there's a whole documentary about this movie, which is kind of amazing. And it's not it's a documentary about fan theory. So it's like nothing's confirmed or anything like that. But it just shows you how layered this movie is. And um, that, it adds to the rewatchability aspect of the film, because, you know, no matter how many times you watch it, I feel like you'll always pick up on new things. The movie is also really well written because there's this whole supernatural aspect to the film, which is great. You know, we love the supernatural stuff, but just the like the, the way the characters are written and the character development and, you know, like Jack Torrance slowly going insane, um, that outweighs the supernatural part of it, which usually doesn't happen in movies. Um, the main focus in movies usually, like if a movie is focusing on supernatural stuff, that usually is the main like attention grabber. But for this movie, I think these characters are so well written that the um, supernatural part of it is just like an element in the movie. It's really about these characters. 
And that takes me to the performances of the film. And I, in my opinion, I thought it was pretty much perfect all around. I love the performances in this film from all three, um, well, from all the actors, but the main three actors that were in the house, Jack Nicholson, Charlie Duvall, and Danny Lloyd, I thought they were all great. The movie is quite something special, I think, because when it first came out, something that's really interesting to me, um, apparently it wasn't really well received um, from what I read and what I hear. But now you could argue that this is the greatest horror movie of all time. You can even argue that it's one of the greatest films of all time, period. And it's kind of crazy to think about that because it kind of makes you wonder that, you know, thinking about movies nowadays, you know, what are people going to think about certain movies that came out, you know, today? What are they going to think about it in 10 years, in 20 years, in 30 years? So um, it's kind of amazing that this movie was not well received. And I think maybe because people didn't fully understand it, because again, it came out in 1980. It was very different than some of the other horror movies that are coming out around that time. So I think it was just misunderstood. But as time went on, people understood that it was really something amazing. So there you guys go. That is my review of The Shining. I'm sure you can tell that I absolutely love this movie. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Let me know your favorite part about the film. Uh, but as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. I also want to thank you guys for tuning in this month to these movie reviews. I do appreciate it. And I also appreciate the movie suggestions that were sent in too. Thank you guys. Uh, but again, I'm going to wrap it up there. Please stay safe, guys. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys soon.